Hey y'all, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Infinite Lock. It's your boy Erica. Today, we have another Sulgi reaction. Y'all know how I feel. If you're new to the channel, look, check it out. Sulgi is the ultimate of all ultimates. I have multiple ultimate biases in K-pop. Sulgi is the ultimate of those ultimates. Um, and she has been for quite a while now. Um, I was so I haven't been more nervous about a solo debut or any comeback or any debut since Sulgi debuted with her solo stuff. And I was super impressed. Um, actually, between all the songs on there, Anywhere But Home is arguably my favorite on the entire album. Um, I've, said, I've told people before, and I said in the reaction to the album, it gave me a lot of American boy vibes with Estelle and Kanye West. A lot of that kind of on the move in another country, starting a new life, new dreams, like, I don't know, a dreaming big type of energy. Between that, Bad Boy, Sad Girl, and obviously the title track, 28 Reasons, I think those were just uh, my tr uh, tr holy trinity off of her album, Three Completely Different Bops, um, where she's kind of conveying three completely different vibes. But I we just got the special film. Obviously, when I'm recording this, it's going to be after her birthday, but happy belated to her. Um, you know, I had made a post about it on my, um, on my channel. But yeah, I just think that she has everything in her toolbox to be a top tier soloist and one of the biggest soloists in the K industry in my opinion I just feel like especially if she sticks on that R&B dark R&B like that Aaliyah ish type of vibe um she can do no wrong I feel like when it comes to having a solo career and I think that she debuted the perfect way and so I'm really excited to see this special film again keep in mind that I have heard the song I have the entire album downloaded um, but again I have not seen the video obviously so let's get into it before we get into the video make sure you all like comment subscribe to your post notifications on got last of coming your way and uh, yeah Sugi with the anywhere but home special film Just take me anywhere but home. Hey, hey. Uh, 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 uh. Those harmonies. Just take me anywhere but home. Her voice is so damn unique. She has this babyish tone in her voice, but in a mature way. It's so crazy. Um, and then, like I said, she has that opera-ish R&B. She just has a, a blend of like aesthetics that should not be in one vocal tone at all. And it just makes her that much more stand out-ish as a vocalist and a singer. Um, she's she's truly she's truly incredible. The video itself gives me the vibes of the song. A lot of fast moving. She's moving around. She's on the go type of thing. That's the vibe. Like she's on an adventure or something. Oh, 
that a bear? Why is she looking at me like that? so much so that was sugi with uh, anywhere but he- Bet home special film um again i heard the song uh so i like know the ad libs and everything but i love how they did the video again i even this pan out of the entire town it just has that vibe of you're on the go you're on the move you're on an adventure um so i like how they shot it um, she looked amazing as always. Um, I saw her post this stuff on the on her Instagram, but I didn't know that there was this was from the video. Um, you know these outfits and stuff like that, but I should have known. Um, but yeah, she just I think she has immense potential to be a super super special soloist. Um, obviously, I love Red Velvet. They're one of my favorite girl groups. I think that no other girl group and other group other than EXO is doing R and B like the EXO and Shiny does can do r&b like them in my opinion but at the same time you know i would love to see them be able to do their own um individual endeavors as well um and with sulgi i think that that's heavy on a solo career i think that she could really be one of the most standout soloists in the industry she just has all of those types of vibes all of the collabs that she's done with different people from the wild thing with soyeon shinbi and chung ha and you know the collab stage with tae min um, you know, I, I collab stays with Sunmi. I just feel like she's done, she's shown so many flashes even before her solo debut of how talented she could be on her own. Um, and so I hope that she continues to get opportunities along with Red Velvet, but still get her own opportunities to do another album, more songs, more collabs. You know, the songs that she collabed on, she was a feature song with Bam Bam. You know, she just has not missed um, and, and things that she's jumped into. And I can I hope that she continues to get those same opportunities as well. So before you all go, make sure you all like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on. Got lots of stuff coming your way. And uh, yeah, till next time. <laughs>